Hello friends. Today we're going to make squash dinner and everybody's gardens are doing great. We've got uh, onions out of our garden and peppers and squash and everything's great. So we're going to make a dinner that my mom used to make when we were growing up. I don't think I've ever had it anywhere else so I'm not sure if they made it up or, or what but for this recipe all you'll need is a pound of hamburger meat, some squash, an onion, um, something to season your meat. I'm just going to use salt, pepper, and garlic. And um, if you want a pepper, that's optional. I like pepper, so I put it on mine. And then a can of cream of celery. This is also optional. Mom would not use this, but I want to use it just because I want it to be more creamy. And then we'll have cheese for the, for the top. So to get started, we're just going to brown our meat and season it the way we want to. You don't have one of these little handy dandy, I really don't know what it's called, but it's wonderful for smashing hamburger meat and stuff like that. It's from Pampered Chef and it's wonderful. So we're going to put a little bit of garlic in here, some salt and some pepper. We're going to brown our brown our meat, and uh, when it's all browned, I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, I'm going to go. My meat is about halfway done, so I'm going to go ahead and put the onions in there and let those cook down just a little bit because it takes onions a little bit longer to cook than the squash. So we're going to let that cook for a few minutes. I'm going to we'll use two squash. Um, they're probably on the smaller side, maybe maybe medium. And I just slice those and uh, getting those ready while the hamburger meat is cooking. When the hamburger meat is done, I'm going to put the cream of celery in. And uh, then we'll layer the, the squash and the peppers. We'll put a lid on it for a little while and we'll let that cook. Okay, I believe that our hamburger meat is done and the onions are about halfway soft. So we're going to put in our soup and stir that all around. And you can use cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of whatever. I'm using cream of celery. That's the one I like to use usually all the time for any time I need it. So we're going to stir that together. I'm not going to add any water because the, um, I think the juice from the squash is, you know, efficient enough. I'm going to turn this fire all the way down below. And then I'm just going to kind of flatten this down. You really don't stir this after after we put all this in there. I've got my, my squash and my jalapeno. So just sprinkle jalapeno around. Now these jalapenos in our garden do not seem to be very, they were supposed to be hot, but they have not gotten hot yet. There's no wise tell that the more you water them, the hotter they get. I don't know if that's true. I've, I've actually heard it both ways. The, less you water them, the hotter they get. So I don't know. So we're just going to layer, layer our squash. Like so. It's been a while since I had this and now that we're starting to see squash. Oh, that's something that I want to make. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You just, just layer it just like that. And then now we're going to put a lid on it. And we're going to let that cook really slow. Low, 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 because you don't want your soups and stuff to scorch. And um, you may stir it once. So uh, we're just going to let that sit for a while and... See what happens. Okay, it's really starting to smell. You can smell the peppers and uh, oh, we can 
See how it makes liquid in there? That's why we don't want to add any. I mean, it doesn't make a lot, but it makes enough. And these squashes, I would say, are about half done. It's probably been about, oh, seven or eight minutes. So we're just going to put the lid back on and um, let that go for a little bit longer. Probably another five or so minutes. And then we'll add our, our cheese on top. So I believe it's been another five or so minutes. So we're gonna, yeah, this is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. And I would say that's probably maybe a little more than a cup. You can use as little or as much as you like. And just spread it around. There's a seed from that. Squash. It's kind of brown. Okay, so we're going to put the lid back on for probably just a couple of more minutes and then it's going to be done. Okay, that looks done. Doesn't that look good? It's all bubbly, it's juicy. So let's, uh, let's try some. Squash is perfect. Meat all down in there good. This is just a old, simple, old-timey recipe <laughs> that my nanny used to make. Mm. I think if you sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on top, it makes it pretty. I should have did that before I got mine out. But we'll do it now. Okay, don't that look good? You can put salt, pepper, whatever. I like to use Tony's. We use Tony's on everything. So I'm just going to put just a smidgen. Just a little bit. And give it a taste. Mmm. I really like the the cream of um, celery in there. It just makes it so creamy and uh, just kind of adds to it. Like I said, Mom didn't used to do that when we were growing up. But you know, I like the pepper in there, the jalapeno pepper. If you like a little spice, you'll like that. Mmm. That's good, y'all. It tastes like garden freshness. If you like this video, hope you'll give us a thumbs up. Share it if you really liked it. We have a Facebook page and an Instagram page if you'd like to check us out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mmm.